Check it first. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we got it. Yeah. yeah. All right, Shalom, Israel. We like to start by giving all praises, sign and glory to Yahweh. Number one is to the Father, the Elder, Great Millstone, and Shalom, Mr. Lake up there, the one who's very faithful and beloved from the city. As the brothers of Jim, my soldiers of faith in New Jersey, go <clears throat> here with the weekly sit down. You know, now, you know, we just want to let the spirit rock, how the spirit rock, you know, the title is an open forum, so, you know, may the Lord speak through us. Uh, this is uh, Nahum chapter 1, verse 1. The burden of Nineveh, the book of the vision of Nahum, the Elkoshite. Mm -hmm. It says, the Most High is jealous, and the Lord revengeth. The Lord revengeth and is furious. The Lord will take vengeance on his adversaries, and he reserveth wrath for his enemies. Mm -hmm. okay. For the Lord is slow to anger and great in power, and will not at all acquit the wicked. Exactly. So everything that you see currently, that's currently constructed, and how Esau is you know trying to move things forward it's not going by unnoticed you know it's clearly said what the lord is is, is slow to end everybody has their boiling point so the lord is allowing things and, and esau's how it gets into a revelation 18 american sinners have reached the heaven. you can pull it out if you want yep. you know what i'm saying <clears throat> you know the lord allows things to get to that boiling point for him so that he can pour out all his fierce anger and indignation upon his face. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Revelation 18 and 5. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and the Most High hath remembered her iniquities. Exactly. So that's the whole point. Uh, America's uh, iniquities are remembered. And the more we sigh and cry for all abominations that be done here, you know, those same iniquities that America has committed is being brought back in before the face of the Most High. So this is constantly what building up the case against Esau with, with substantial evidence. Yes. You know what I'm saying? That everything that you're doing is, is out of pocket. So therefore the most I officially have to bring down his wrath. But he like I say, he just waited for that particular boiling point so that he can just strike down this place, you know, with his mass fury. You know, because you can have a situation to where, you know, you had a job or somebody say a little some little slick comment or something like that, or they may just do something to kind of try to slow you up at work. You might notice like uh, a little punk stuff or whatever, but if they keep going harder than this, you know what I mean? You keep getting more angry and until so that anger builds up and then you got to either say something or you got to do something about it or somebody completely disrespects you. And that's what it is for the Lord. The Lord is constantly being disrespected by Esau and him doing these things into his people. But he's allowing all of these things to serve a dual purpose. For us to be punished, for us to grow through this punishment, to understand, you know, who our true and righteous living power is so that we can appreciate it more. And at the same time, to pour heaping coals of fire upon Esau's head mm -hmm. when he thinks he's about to uh, 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 fully get his supper, man. You know? Can you preach that? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so Genesis 15 and 16 says, but in the fourth generation, they shall come hither again. For the iniquity of the Amorites is not yet full. Mm -hmm. You know, we know that the iniquities is like the uh, transgressions, you know, the disrespect towards the Most High. And, uh, you know, here it is. Well, if I start at verse 15, it says, And thou shalt go to thy fathers in peace. Thou shalt be buried in, uh, in a good old age. But in the fourth generation, they shall come hither again. Okay, talking about us as uh, Israelites. Mm -hmm. It says, for the, iniqu for the iniquity of the Amorites is not yet full. When you go into the Amorites, it says, uh, one of the peoples of East Canaan, you know, it says, and beyond the Jordan, dispossessed by the Israelite incursion from Egypt. So the Lord was waiting, also waiting for them to build up their certain iniquities to reach a certain point. So that this way, you know, it will accuse the most high when we bust their ass for all the iniquities that they have done. So it's the same thing with here with Babylon the Great. It also says, uh, an Amorite, one of the Canaanites, his tribes. Because when we took over the land of Canaan, which was originally our land anyway, mm -hmm. but they just happened to be in that land, and then we, you know, we, we uh, uh, pretty much killed them off, as the scriptures say. 
And that's when we took over that land. So the Lord was waiting for the Amorites iniquity to reach us that certain breaking point. It's the same thing here with Babylon the Great. And that certain breaking, breaking point will be when they ultimately push that RFID chip. Yeah, and then it's like how you see like a different TV shows or something there have you know, they have a scenario going on and they might put a little bar at the bottom of the screen and somebody get mad, or like pissed off o meter. You know what I'm saying? You see the right, boiling right, point right, right, and right. when it reaches full, then that person just go <laughs> fucking berserk. You yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So it's, that's the same way with the Lord, man. And, and when you think about it, not just on uh, a tip of the, of the Lord's wrath, but in, in different aspects of even our lives, right? We got to go through certain trials and tribulations here within Babylon to, to be built up to withstand a battle with that great day. So what? Hey, everybody, you got a, you got a, 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 a bar of faith. You got a bar of hope. You got a bar of love. You got a, a bar of this. You know what I'm saying? And the Lord is, hey, hot on, 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 I don't play video games no more, but I know brothers play video games. You know I mean? But NBA 2K, you want your player build. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You want to get just your, your, your attributes up. Yeah. You know what I mean? You want to be a, a, a 99 overall. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. You want to have your agility, your speed up, your, your, your three-point shot. That's how it is within this truth. We building up our player build through the spirit of power of Yahweh watching our shot. What well, all to what? For the championship game, which is uh, 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 the, the mark of the beast, the RFID chip, the hour of temptation. That's the championship, man, mm -hmm. you know, in which we're looking to, to win with them crowns on, on our heads at the end, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's why we want to head into Jacob Trouble 99 overall, you know, low willing, meaning on fire. Mm -hmm. You know, that's it. Mm -hmm. uh, real quick, um, uh, uh, Job chapter 14, verse uh, 4. Who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? No, not one. Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee, thou hast appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. And I brought that out because, like you said, the Lord has a, a certain tipping point, you know, uh, where, you know, that, that proverbial line in the sand where mm -hmm. Esau, you know, uh, Esau can't cross it. And if he does yeah. try to cross it, that's his ass, you know, yeah. because what his days are determined with the Lord, you know? <laughs> yes, it's, it's like you, you kids, you like, like. Uh, uh, you touch me again, I bet you I hit you. Right, right, right. I bet you won't touch me. I bet you won't touch me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. is it, <laughs> you know, you can use so many different analogies, man. Yeah. You know? Yep, tell them, you better go, you better go to bed before I count to 10. <laughs> they stand there. Yeah, yeah. You hit 10, though, that's that ass. <laughs> so it says here, um, Nahum uh, uh, 1 and uh, 3, the Lord is slow to anger and great in power mm -hmm. and will not at all acquit the wicked. Uh, the Lord hath his way in the whirlwind and in the storm, and the clouds are the dust of his feet. Mm -hmm. It says, He rebuketh the sea and maketh it dry, and drieth up all the rivers. Mm -hmm. Bashan languisheth, and Carmel, and the flower of Lebanon languisheth. The mountains quake at him, and the hills melt, and the earth is burned at his presence. Yea, the world and all that dwell therein. Who can stand before his indignation? Mm, uh, hey, and, and, the, and the Lord, one thing um, I remember uh, Apostle Gabor said, I, I, that's why I, I wish each of them took certain lessons down or certain, hopefully, Lord willing, he still got the lesson they re-uploaded because I remember when he did the uh, lesson on Ezekiel, the first chapter, and it was a oh, beautiful display. The angels and things. Yeah, with the, yeah. with the angels and all that. It, yeah. it was like, that's, I love that chapter for the way, you know, the Apostle had broke that down. And, you know, how he said how the Most High does things and, you know, explaining the aura of the angels and how they moved and things. He was like, the Lord's explaining this, you know, because he wants you to picture it in a dramatic fashion. Because mm -hmm. the Lord is about the, the, the drama, the scene. This is why in the movies and the scenes, they create no dramatic scenes mm -hmm. for the build up. You know what I'm saying? For you to climax. have the ultimate climax for you to reach that into this picture and you waiting to see what's going to happen. That's the power that the Lord holds. Mm -hmm. So you're thinking about the, hey, uh, DJ Clay K Slate, he called himself the drama king. Mm -hmm. Nah, the most high is the drama king. Right, 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 you know right. what I'm saying? <laughs> Talk about how, how they say, uh, yeah. bring that drama to your mama. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> hey, the Lord is bringing things in a dramatic fashion, and that's why he explained things like this for you to. We can't fully understand the magnitude of his power, but this is just a, uh, hey, maybe a, a point, point three percent right, of right, the Lord's right, power. Right, right, you right, know right, what I'm saying? Right. Hey, that's why Esau, we was talking about that earlier in camp. They technology, what they got, they think they own one. Yeah. Nah, the Lord got, yeah. got, the Lord is on. He is the one. 
Carl, you Carl. know. Hey, another thing, real quick, that video it might be on the old walking talk. Oh yeah, it might be. You just got to okay. dig for it, probably. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, even in the scriptures, when you read, it talks about how um, you know, quite a lot spared not yeah. when uh, uh, you know, um, when the Lord told uh Habakkuk to go to Daniel and feed him, he uh-huh. cried out to him. Yeah. So that's how we speak, like cry, like you, you speak with emotion. You, exactly. You might like um, I seen this post. He's talking about Dominicans how they speak. It sounds yeah. like they're yelling at each other, but yeah, they, that's, yeah, that's how yeah. they regularly talk, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's true. Yeah, you be thinking they be fighting, but they just be having a good old yeah, time. Yeah, that's how they talk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. something real quick. You know, because you mentioned bringing a drum to your mama. We went and listened to Kent. This, uh, uh, King David was about that, too. Psalms 109 and 9. It says, let his children be fatherless and his wife a widow. So, you know, King David was about that same thing, man. He said he wanted his enemy's children to be fatherless, man. I Meaning he wanted his, his his enemy's pops to get that get in on the action, man. You know, so, you know, that's just uh uh of uh, 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 the drama, the craziness of of a uh, uh you know how 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 we get down, man. Mm. You know, that's crazy. Uh, yeah, they got some. Uh one more mm-hmm. verse. Um it says, Who can stand before his indignation? And who can abide in the fierceness of his anger? His fury is poured out like fire, and the rocks are thrown down by him. You know, the Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble, and he knoweth them that trust in him. Mm. You know? mm. Hey, real quick, just going to the comment board. Hey, Shalom to you brothers on the comment board. Shalom, shalom, hey, shalom. Hey, the brother Shar, he on here, he put uh, Hosea 4 1. Hear the word of the Lord. Ye children of Israel, for the Lord have a controversy with the inhabitants of the land, because there is no truth, no mercy, nor knowledge of Yahweh in the land. That's nice. We talk about controversy. We're just talking about drama. <coughs> Look at that word. <laughs> controversy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, good thing, man. Because uh, you know the, the so-called white man ultimately, man, he tried to he tried to flood out the truth. You know, that's why you got in Revelation 12 and 15. It says, And the serpent cast out his mouth of water as a flood after the woman. And the woman, of course, was going into uh, us, Israel, man. Yeah. Yep. And it says, And the serpent, who Esau eat him, man. Okay. <clears throat> that, old, that old dragon, man. It says, And the serpent cast out his mouth of water, and his water is that bullshit philosophies. Okay. As a flood, you know, trying to cover up the truth. And he, he's adding on to it, man. That's why he's trying to tell you so-called natives it was a fair shake, you know, within the deal. Well, what the hell is the trail of tears about, man? You know? So it says, and the serpent cast out his mouth water as a flood after the woman, that he might cause her to be carried away of the flood. See, so he wanted us to be carried away, man, going back to that Psalms 83. You know, he wanted to cut us off from being a nation, man. Mm -hmm. And now he's trying to do it. First, he did it physically through slavery. And now that the Lord put the spirit... On the planet, you know, on the people on the planet Earth, for him to uh, 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 legalize freedom of speech, and then he put the spirit on him to make the internet, so we can come back into our nationality. Now to counteract that, he wants to do it through his bullshit philosophy. Oh, we're all one. We all come of Adam, you know. This is verse sixteen. And the earth helped the woman, and the earth opened her mouth and swallowed up the flood which the dragon cast out of his mouth. Hey, and, that, and that's why that's why Psalm sixty four. Uh, you know, gets into uh, that tongue and child uh, fall upon themselves, mm-hmm. you know, because the, the earth, all of the edification that comes out, you know, uh, first and foremost through the scriptures, uh, secondarily through secular history and, 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 and things that, that backs the scriptures, which the scriptures don't need no backing, you know, because it is the only historical book that we need, you know, but just going through the different facts of the earth, this all proves the point, you know, and, and this shows that how we're constantly able to Swallow up the lies with truth through the scriptures, man. Because anything else you try to use, it's, it's, it's going to be a standstill. Because the only absolute truth is within the scriptures, man. Mm-hmm. Anything else is a perspectives that, that could be the right way of thinking. But it doesn't have absolute truth. You know, and in order to get to that right destination, you need absolute truth. If you're on a goddamn game show, you know, hey, you know, you, you got to get them things all the way right. You know what I'm saying? You may have certain chances, but you got to get the absolute answer. You can't beat around the bush or, or, or jeopardy. You, know you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Slightly the wrong thing. Eh, you know what I mean? But 
you might have said, okay, the, the, the answer might have been fucking a, a, a John, but you said James, but you knew it, but you know what I mean? Yeah, it's it, not the same. It, it, exactly, exactly. So just one slight thing and you off. And that's what happens when you're dealing with these other other books and you know all of that contradictions and bullshit and things like that, man. You know? Yeah, of course, you got um, Isaiah chapter 34, verse 16. Yeah, that's the spirit I had. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Seek, seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read, none of these shall fail, mm -hmm. none shall want her mate. Mm -hmm. For my mouth it had commanded, and his spirit it had gathered them. Hey, the, the, the number one thing, what, it's more than number one thing, right? But what ultimately separates the scriptures from all these other books? It's prophecy. Prophecy. Yeah. prophecy. Speaking things <clears throat> before they actually come about. Proof spirit. That's huh? precept too. Oh, go ahead. Bring it on. Uh, this, this is St. <laughs> Say, Say John chapter 16 and 13. How be it when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. Mm. For he shall not speak of himself, mm. but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. And he will show you all things to come. Bring that back. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> this St. Uh, John 16 and 13. It says, how be it when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. Hey, hey that, that's how we're guided, right? Now, like a lot of times, <clears throat> you know, I've always been into like history and stuff, right? Just using myself as an example real quick. I've always been into history. But I noticed that coming into the truth and, and me going through certain historical things, Ultimately, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I just know that I have the spirit to get into history and to read. The rest of it is the spirit guiding me to the right information. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then, like when I did like uh, certain uh, uh, things on like the, the the tribes in West Africa had the one of the, yeah the breakdowns like yeah. brothers mm -hmm. reaching out saying yeah you right on like that's the spirit guiding you. Right, right, right. I, I don't claim myself to be smart enough or like that. I just have the, the you know the the will with all to. Go into the information, and the spirit guides you the rest of the way. Yeah. That's what Yahweh Shaka Boss was. They, they, he's a guide for us, yeah, man. The, the truth, the Yeah, the Holy Spirit, man. Yeah, you he, know that He gave us exactly. Yeah. Hey, because yeah. when you start linking things up, yeah, yeah. This is uh, I'll read it again. How be it when He, the Spirit of Truth, is come, He will guide you into all truth. Mm -hmm. For He shall not speak of Himself, but whatsoever He shall hear, that shall He speak. Hey, and, and that, that's the point of it because it's not like we coming to people and saying, yo, listen to me. No, we telling you, listen, thus saith the Lord. Listen to the scriptures, what mm -hmm. the scriptures have to say. You know what I'm saying? These are not our words. Mm -hmm. <laughs> These are not our words. These are the Lord's words that, that's coming. We are the ambassadors of the Lord upon the earth, man. We're speaking his word. A, a precept uh, scripture uh -huh. say, uh, he that heareth the most high heareth us. Exactly, right, right, right. And, and that's the point. But yet, when they when they look at you, when they look at you, when they look at you, they look at you, they look at you, they look at me. What they see? Just another regular man. Just another regular man. Yeah, Who are you to judge me? Who are you to tell me? But you can't tell me my truth is wrong. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That that's how the world look at it, man. Mm -hmm. Instead of seeing the message, but they want how they say, uh, uh, don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They don't throw everything out the window. Exactly, because you're looking at the individual instead of the message or what's behind or or how the Lord could be using this individual to get certain information to you, man. Or they say, don't kill the messenger. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. He's just the messenger. You didn't go kill your mailman for yeah. delivering you mail. Yeah. He may have mail in there that, su that summons you to a subpoena, you know? Yeah. You may, you know, and, yeah. and you... Where that mail man at? Yeah. How dare you? Yeah. <laughs> you know? That, that's what Jeremiah was crying about. Like, like, see, Lord, see their words and things against me. Like, mm -hmm. and Jeremiah just spitting the word of the Lord. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, so, so, so you could have a man of the Lord teaching you something, and like, there could be something in the flesh that got, I don't know, maybe offenses or something. But yeah. then just because you have a fault with that brother or something yeah. like that, doesn't mean that everything... Oh, everything in the truth. Everything, the game, everything, yeah. everything. When you said, exactly. like you said, the baby exactly. out of the bathwater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, you, you done with that? I got a question. Oh, last verse. Right. It says, that shall he speak, <clears throat> and he will show you all... He will show you things to come. He shall glorify me, for he shall receive of mine, and shall show it unto you. Hey, because what are we saying? We're saying the things that would come. Remember, like, fucking 2011, we seen Hurricane Sandy. We get yeah. excited, like, 
yo, this might be it. Yeah, this yeah, might yeah, be yeah. it. This <laughs> might be it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But yet, we knew World War Three still had to come. We yeah. knew about the, the chip, different yeah. things, martial law. And now what? And we were talking about it back then. Now we can clearly see. Because we ain't been in the truth, obviously, that long. But from our experience, <clears throat> we can see how the Lord is setting things up. Yeah. And we can see the prophecies <laughs> as they're coming into play. Yeah. Because it, it, the Lord makes it so vividly clear to you, man. Mm -hmm. You can't miss it. It's right in front of you. Right. All you got to do is pay the hell of attention, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, yeah um, what you were saying before about, um, uh, you know, being good with the history. And then mm -hmm. the Lord guided you through everything else, through the spirit. Yeah. Um, you know, and this whole thing is spiritual. Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 5. Who then is Paul, and who is Apollos, but ministers by whom ye believe, even as the Lord gave to every man? It says, I have planted, Apollos watered, but the Most High gave the increase. Mm -hmm. You know? So mm -hmm. it's all spirit. Yeah, so you really can't take credit. You know, it's all really done of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. You know, that's why the Lord don't teach us to be prideful. Yeah. You know, unlike our past, you know, you know. <laughs> Guys want to take credit for everything. It's like, look, it's the Lord, man. Yeah, you know? exactly. And just like you know, getting to the point of, of the message, like what you said in camp earlier, like that, that struck me like a call because that's something I've been I've been thinking about a lot lately. Just dealing with certain people, you know, within your life, and it's like, like not to make ourselves of anything, but it's like, yo, you don't know who I can be. Like us being in the truth, now we understand. Like you don't just talk to anybody any type of way, right? Because we don't know. I don't know who you is. I don't know who you is. I, this is how we brought out the how you brought out the example of, of, of Moses and, and how Aaron them was speaking against him and what the Lord did. You don't know how near and dear or precious somebody is to the Lord, and you just talking to them any type of way. Right. So when I have other people looking or talk, I know we supposed to be the the filth and the <coughs> that's what I'm just saying. Um, I know the filth and the offscoring of the earth, but it's like when people talk to you and you just look like. Oh, you just really think I'm just not shit. I, I take it as a, a, a dignity, but it's like, yo, you just really don't know who I could possibly be. be. Right. <clears throat> and the Lord can possibly really fuck you up over right. this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But they don't, they don't, they don't consider those type of things, you know? Yeah, yeah mentioning what happened um in um in Numbers, the twelfth oh. chapter, with um, Moses, and then the Lord, you know, uh, um Mary. Miriam mm -hmm. and um and Aaron offended yeah. him. And the Lord stepped in and was like, yo, you know, and then it got, it got kindled against those two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, real quick, this is a Hebrews chapter uh, 13, verse 1. Let brotherly love continue. Woo. Be not forgetful to entertain strangers, uh, for their, um, for thereby some have entertained angels unawares. You know, and those angels, you know, them, them special messengers, you know. Uh, remember them that are in bonds, and this bonds of this flesh, because what, when you, when, when, you know, the prophets of old, you know, Jeremiah 28 and 8, you know, they went on into the spirit world. And right now they're in the chains of darkness right now, somewhere around here in, uh, in, in 2021. You know, we don't know who the brothers are. You know, brothers could be in this room, you know. Absolutely, I believe so. But you don't know who who uh, who you're talking to, you know. So, so that's something to be fearful of. <clears throat> so it says, remember them that are in bonds as bound with them. And them which suffer as birth adversity as being yourselves also in the body. Okay, so we're all, you know, we're all we're all in this flesh, but we're all of the same spirits of old, you know. And if your name is written in that book, mm. you know, and, and you talking to somebody any old kind of way, man, you don't know who you're talking to, that could be your ass, man. Yeah. yeah. Hey, you know, one of us could be one of your house shy's uh, brothers, man. Mm. And we had two brothers that actually believe. Yeah. Mm. So one of us is, you know. It was then the truth could be Yahushua's actual blood brother. Who was the two brothers? Was it the Jew? Uh, James, James, oh, James, 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 Jew? James, James and Jew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that, that, that believe, and then he had two other brothers that didn't believe. Mm -hmm. You know, so, you know, you, you don't know, you know, who's who, but I, I, I tell you this, man, well, the scriptures tell you this, that coming back, we're just normal people. Yeah. This is uh, 1 Corinthians uh, 1, chapter 1, verses uh, 26. When you see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, mm. not many noble are called. But the most I have chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. Hey, part of that foolish is uh, going out there on the highways and byways and actually prophesizing. You know, meaning we out there teaching and uh, talking to the wind and people are looking at us at, like, as we're crazy. 
You know, as, as if that's the way to get somebody's attention. But that's the way the Lord said to do, you know. And it is going to get your attention because we, we're that speckled bird, you know, that's, well, we're that spotlight. That spectacle, yeah. The spectacle, Salakia, you yeah. know, that's better. That spectacle, you know, that, that, that stain on the corner that everybody drive by each time of the, of the day and, is, you know, and of that hour, they see that same stain, <laughs> you, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, and then people come up and think they can clean it, but it's already clean, right. you know, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is meant for speaking. Yeah, because, yeah, because, you know, people always think like it got to be like, you know, you got to have that, that polished image. You know, this, that, and the third, uh, you know, you got to be somebody of, of power now or whatever. Hey, when you when you look at the, the top, <clears throat> now we comparing spiritual money, right, to, to physical money, right? When you look at us, the, the men of the Lord, Storm of the Prophet, the Great Millstone, we got spiritual money. Lord willing, our spiritual bank accounts continue to grow, right? But what? We the filth of all scrolling of the earth, brothers, and, you know what I mean? Ain't got to be the flash, ain't got to look the flashes, nothing like that. You look at Esau, the top billionaires of the earth, they not the flashiest. You know what I'm saying? They not the flashiest. I look, it's a uh, recent saying I just heard. Some um, new money is loud, old money is quiet. Wow. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Loud, old sense. money is quiet. Wow. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You used to it. It's nothing to you. You know what I'm saying? Comes in for the baby. Exactly. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to always be the flashes to, to show that you're really worth something. You know what I'm saying? And at the same time, that's how you weed out a lot of people. What? If you don't want no gold digging that shit with all women going to be attracted to money anyway, mm -hmm. you ain't got to flash and live regular, but yeah. you can still have it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That, that's that's how the Lord is looking at things, man. Yeah. You, you, you question, well, why is she with me? You uh -huh. know, you ain't give her that. That persona, what you really got? Yeah. You know, she well, you could examine her. Oh, she with me because she really, you know, she dig me. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. And some yeah. shit. Exactly. You know what I mean? That's that's how it is, man. So the Lord ain't looking for you know uh, those type of people. You know, because as Buzz always mentioned, you know, if that was the case, the Lord would have got a celebrity or somebody like that. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. to, to bring out the word and for you to really look up to them. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the, the uh, bring out that scripture um, about as far as the. Poor man, uh, they look up elegantly into the uh, rich man's group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, hey, I never remember that scripture. Well, brother, get that. I just want to say that's why, you know, for brothers who tune in, you know, you're hearing this show right now. Whenever a celebrity, you know, I'm mainly talking to new, new, newer fruit, you know, new guys, new women to come in and you're listening to the shows. Don't get all super excited because a celebrity mentioned the truth. Yeah. yeah. You know, sure. they're nobody, man. You know, it's not. Oh, oh, just the truth now because he said it. How about the prophets that the Lord set up, you know, for years, man? You know, have been teaching over 30 years, man, and, and been putting it down. How about those men? You know, shouldn't get excited because some celebrity mentioned the truth. When meanwhile, he's just talking about it, but he's not walking and being about it, you know? Right. Yeah. What, what, what was that that you bring it up? I got it. This is Sirach 13 and 23. When a rich man speaketh. Oh, I'll start at 22. When a, when a rich man is fallen, he had many helpers. Mm -hmm. He speaketh things not to be spoken, and yet men justify him. Hey, hey, mm -hmm. and, and that's you when you look at everything within this world, you can see that clearly. Bring it back again. Um, this is Sirach 13 and um 22. When a rich man is fallen, he has many helpers. Hey, because ultimately they look at him for not just about the money, it's the power, the resources that this man holds. So that's why they, you know, if they know that they have lesser stature, they're looking to be an aid to him. So they know them, I, they're like, I know this man want to get back yeah. up. So when he gets back up, he ain't going to have no choice but to look out for me. That's what it really is in the end. You know what I mean? So you're really looking to help out yourself because you know, that the end of this man is, is, is going to be good regardless because of his power and his resources and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Hence why it behooves, you know, uh, those who are not actually uh, uh, in the truth as far as doing the work, you know, those, those help us, whether somebody come by and give us water or, or send an apostles donation or whatever, that they can do whatever they do to help us because, hey, the Lord going to look upon you with great favor for helping his servants. You know what, yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. During the times in which they need, you know? 
when it was not, when I was sick, you you know what I mean? You came to visit me and different things of that nature, you know? Yeah, arms cover a multitude of sins. Yeah. He speaketh things not to be spoken, and yet men justify him. Hey, they can say some of the wildest stuff. People will find all type of ways to just how just how we just went into the whole Michelle Obama and and uh and um Dwayne Wade's son. You know what I'm saying? Just going off the rail saying whatever and people supporting it. When that's no sound logic whatsoever, man. Uh you you had Meg the Stallion up there talking with uh Maxine Waters. She's supposed to be, you know, this big yeah. politician and 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 she sounded, they were saying a bunch of nothing up there, man. Mm -hmm. She support, Maxine Waters is supporting Mega Stallion talking about what, what, at, you know what I'm saying? And she said, oh yeah, but she said that, that's audacity right there. What are you, that, you ain't even making a proper sentence. You saying that's audacity right there. Did, did she say we needed this or some shit? Yeah, yeah, she said, said something like, yeah, oh, that was good for you and Beyonce to come together because I thought that was important because her reaching out and possibly. Uh -huh. What 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 the hell are you talking about, man? But yet people hold that in such high regard. When they, they sit there and they sat there, it was at least like an hour, not an hour, but like a, a half hour or so, talking about a bunch of nothing, talking in circles, making no goddamn sense. Yet people praising that shit, man. For what? Why are you not praising the Lord? Why are you not coming to these scriptures? Why are you not giving the scriptures that same reverence that you would give these people that's really not doing shit for you? Why? Because it fits your narrative, it fits your agenda, it makes it fits the the, the, the feel good mechanism that's within you. You know, it, it's exciting your, your your dopamine receptors, man. People get a high off of hearing what they like instead of the things that are more pertinent to your future, man. You know. Hey, that dude Bill Sneaks. He was saying, um, what he said. I believe the brother Will had. Uh, showing us that a video where he's basically saying about the world is overpopulated so we gotta kill off all these people and yeah. people just clapping yeah. like like you know oh, yeah. exactly talk about giving off damn million dollar checks or something they, like they that they clapped and they was laughing yeah like yeah. is he joking yeah and then he said yeah we do a really good job in with the uh uh uh, uh i was about to say it. If we really do a good job with, you know, the jabby jabs, the jabs yeah. and such and such, Thank we you. can get this number down to uh, like, yeah. what are you t you talking about literally killing people off? Right, right, right in their face. Hey, real quick, this is a Cle uh, uh, Ecclesiastes chapter ten and six, straight to the point. Folly is set in great dignity, and the rich sit in low places. Mm -hmm. You know, hey, 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 you notice, right? Now, we all like things of entertainment, you know, you searching on social media, you want to see things that, you know, uh, uh, make you laugh, what is that in third, you know what I'm saying, nothing wrong with that, gotta have some laughter and stuff, but some of those things be having the most views possible, right? Somebody posts something that's positive, it don't get nowhere near as much as attention, why is that, man? Because people feed off of bullshit, mm -hmm. they, like, it's... <clears throat> That's how you know that this place is the is the land of confusion. This whole world is nothing but confusion in its current state, because everything that's that's either a, a, a contrary or opposed to what's actually right gets the most praise. Yet you have us coming to you with the spirit of the Lord, Yahweh Shemayahu preaching unto you the good titles of the word that you are the future rulers of this earth, that you are Israelites. That you are God's chosen people. Yeah, this is not getting the recognition that it deserves. The Lord is not getting the recognition that he deserves. Why is that, man? Why is that? That shows you that the prince of the air has the power over this world. As it's currently constructed. That shows you what people actually give their minds over to. Folly, as a brother just uh, read it. It's setting great dignity. It's in high esteem. Yep. People will sit there all day. Wasting their life away looking at goofy shit all fucking day. Yeah. All fucking day. And don't do nothing else. Be all in other people's lives, but you ain't got your fucking life together, man. And it's not even and then you got copycats which they're doing on social media and it's not even being creative, but and you know, since folly is setting great dignity, mm -hmm. they would call that creative. Yeah. You know, you running into a store and just walking behind the counter and eating some cheeseburger or something. Yeah. You know, that's stupid. That's not creative. And then it generates all of this um, attention. It trends. And then all of a sudden, this man's become 
a celebrity. Yeah. He starts to make money off of follow. Because it's wild and it's outlandish. Mm -hmm. And you got one of them Edomites that uh, uh, ran up on somebody as a prank. Like he robbing them and got killed. Oh, man. yeah, the white dude. White yeah. boy, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Edomite. Stuff like that happens. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what, when you push folly too far, you, you can't push nothing too far, man. You know, you push that shit too far, that's what's going to happen. You know, or somebody going to wind up getting their ass beat or whatever the case may be, pushing stuff too far. Yeah, we had that dude. That's what I do. Uh, I think he's probably set it off. That dude, Boat Gang. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. He's the yeah. one that set it off. Yeah, he was one of the first ones, yeah. Yeah, he went to the store and had, like, poured fucking milkshakes in the aisle and shit and was sliding down there. Talking about this, the, the hood slip and slide. And then guess what, though? You had a lot of little niglet minions that tried to mimic him, man. So Esau loves to 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 get behind a two third. And you know what happened to a nigga like that in the ancient world who would go into a, a market and just flood all this? Oh, it puts a death. Exactly. Stone, stone, stone. But what happens to him in America? He gets bigged up, man. He gets money. He gets, he gets money. He gets yep. paid. He gets a YouTube plaque yep. with a million of views. Yep. He gets followers. He gets praise on the comic boy. He gets bitches, man. Hey, you get you get young kids to admire him. He becomes an idol. Yeah, that's goofiness, man. You will get put to death in the ancient world, going in the market and just just dumping all type of stuff, talking about a slip and slide. And then you'll have niggas, man, that'll get little niggas that'll get behind them. And they'll be like, yo, I'm doing boot gang too, man. Like, shut the hell up, man. Mm -hmm. But that's the wise counsel of this damn devil against our people. That's the accuser of our brethren, man. Mm -hmm. To just get our people to keep doing stupid shit, man, so that they go off. But guess what? The Lord don't need all the... All, they guess what? They not even know Israel with y'all of Israel, man. Mm -hmm. Just us now, man. Just us, the hopeful elect, man. Hey, quick precept. This is Isaiah. This is Isaiah chapter five and twenty. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own sight. You know, and uh, let me read this. It says, Woe unto them that are mighty to drink wine and men of strength to mingle strong drink. Mm -hmm. You know, but the point the point is, you know, Jake, they 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 done turned this um folly, you know, into a uh, great value. You know, that dude boot gang, he's he also had a changing of heart because mm -hmm. he's telling his fans now. That he wants to change his life. He wants to move yeah. different. He was moving stupid. He got so-called baptized. Yeah, he, he got so-called baptized. He got uh, his jaw wired. I believe he got shot. Mm -hmm. All the stuff that he's doing, the, the negative attention that came to him, it, it almost killed his ass. I think he almost died a few times. And then, you know, that's why he called himself baptizing himself to who? To Satan. You know? Mm -hmm. Hey, they trying to put salt in Kool-Aid and call it Kool-Aid, man. You know, everybody knows when niggas was coming up, you put a pound of sugar in that shit, and then you drink it. They try to, because they put bitter for sweet. Oh, so you try and put salt and pepper in the Kool-Aid and call it Kool-Aid, man. Right. You know, and then two-thirds, oh, it, it tastes good, man. Yeah, it's delicious. Yeah, it's, the hell is, exists. You know, all his nations can be saved, man. You drinking soda and Kool-Aid, man. Yeah, was that something? Yeah, I'm going to keep going on this. Mm. It's back at uh, Ciroc 13. And 22, uh, when a rich man is falling, he have many helpers. He speaketh things not not to be spoken, and yet men justify him. Hey, Babylon itself, as a whole, this place is falling, and pe people are holding this place up, man. You know? Holding up on crutches, you know? <laughs> My bad. But uh, inside joke got going. Yeah, 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 but, uh, yeah. but Babylon, you know, People try to hold this place up. This place is falling. You got you got people that's trying to, uh, 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 hey, our people, of our people, our people try to hold this place up. Mm -hmm. Here it is. We tell them this place is gonna be destroyed. Does say the scriptures, you know, and they'll do everything to try to not have that happen. You know, you got scoffers that try to, uh, uh, uh not want to. You got people that want to try to upset prophecy, so to speak. You know, you got people that that don't want this place to um be destroyed. <clears throat> they want to try to make it here, man. You know. Yeah, and, and and by doing that, they'll like they'll like stole everything that they, that the rich man will say to the clouds, man. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, 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 Bill Gates for an example. You know, yeah. everybody is listening. The whole world is following 
Techie. Uh, 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 tech, uh, techie Bills. Uh, 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 Freddy Krueger, Billy Krueger's uh, <laughs> uh, fucking um, um, plan. Mm, right. <laughs> Homo said it. Yeah. Fol uh, following his plan. And, and, and he doesn't even have the credentials to do it. But he's a rich man, so everybody uh, listens to him. Man. Right. Exactly. Yeah, he can sit there and say, I got an idea. Fart. And everybody be like, that was brilliant. Right, right. Exactly. It, up. It, it don't matter what they say, man. Yeah. It don't matter. Mm -hmm. It really doesn't matter, yo. No matter what. And I seen the thing on... Um, What's the lady name? I think her name is a Dr. Man, what is it? Simon Gold or something like that. Mm. The the lady they was uh she was speaking out against, you know, the um the jab and all of that. Mm. And then they were saying that she got caught up in the um the, the Trump uh mm, yeah. thing at the Capitol. Capitol right. I think her name is uh Dr. Simon Gold. I could be wrong. But I seen the thing where she was pretty much like had a seminar and she was speaking you know, about, you know, the jab and, and how they got the jab listed as like, this is a, um, damn, what was the word that they used? Lock it. This is a, 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 a somebody in the comments. Hey, real quick, I'll read the precept from the comic board. Uh, Brother Shari put up Ecclesiasticus 4 and 27. It says, make not, make not thyself an underling to a foolish man, neither accept the person of the mighty. Mm. Yeah. You know, being a follower of these devils and, and following their plan, you know, yeah, you know, following behind a fool. The scriptures say, uh, "The blind leading to the blind, both shall fall into a ditch." It also says, you know, following uh, being a sheep, a sheep, you know, uh, being at uh, uh, being in danger of what ravenous wolves. You know, that, that could stand for other Israelites, but too this this devil. You know, mm -hmm. our people just follow this devil, right. and he knows that he's the devil. That's the thing that they. They'll, behind closed doors and behind, oh, well, you know, he's the devil, this, that, and the third. But everything he tells you to do on the TV, on the on the damn boob tube, you, you, you listen to him, man, and you follow it. And another thing is these fucking pastors. Here it is. You got Esau that's pushing these, uh, these pastors to, um, you got Esau pushing these pastors to, you know, tell people to take this, uh, the Maxine. But here it is, the same person, the same pastor you're listening to, you've been going to this church for 20 years and don't know a damn thing about the scriptures. Yeah, yeah. You know, you'll, you'll, you'll come up, you know, tell them, oh, I know that. You know what I'm saying? He, hey, like you say, uh, the fear towards me is taught by the precepts of men. Right, right, right. You know, it's ridiculous. They don't even admit, I had somebody tell me, admit to me that he don't know the scriptures, but you want to argue me the scriptures. Exactly. Yeah. That's like the same concept as a, I don't know who the Israelites is, but I know it ain't you. Right. That's racist, man. But you want to be you for you. being a so-called racist. You know? So-called racist is the worst worst thing on earth now, man. Right. Like, they're trying to wash away with the history of how this place was founded. And not even too long ago, the, the damn 60s, man. What was that? The Brown the Brown case? Mm. You know, when they finally did away with segregation? That was like 1964, man. Mm -hmm. You know? So get out of here with this <clears throat> damn bullshit, man. That's why the Lord needs to... Uh, 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 come back, man. Destroy this damn place, man. Because that's why the scriptures say when when the Lord returns to captivity of Zion, we will like unto them that dream, man. So this is all going to be a damn a huge nightmare. Thinking back upon the wickedness of this place, all these moles. You know, women dying here, blonde, trying to be like Edomites, man. Hey, real quick. Um, you know, because, you know, what brother's speaking on is these uh, hypocrites. Yeah. So, you know, I just put hypocrite in the blue letter and there's a few precepts. This is Job 8 and 13. So are the paths of all that forget Yahweh and the hypocrites hope shall perish. You know, like you said, you know, they here it is. They supposed to be, they feign themselves to be these uh, men of the Lord, but here they don't even know the scriptures, you know. And um, Jake get mad even though they don't know the scriptures. That goes into the soothe things. They want to hear something that soothes them. That's why they telling you, look, man. I don't even know, but it ain't like that, my brother. Right. It ain't like that, my brother. You wrong. You wrong because they want to hear something that is going to soothe them. Yeah. They want to be taught lies. Yeah. Uh, Job 13 and 16. He also shall be my salvation for an hypocrite shall not come before him. Not so like, you know, it's, it's, it's a, I got to read them. You know, it's a lot in here. Hey, yeah, uh, just that, that point that I was getting to real quick for this lady. Yeah, her name is uh, Dr. Simone right. Gold. I don't want to play the clip because she, you know, actually saying the word jab in it or whatever. Mm -hmm. But she pretty much saying that how, you know, the CDC is, is labeling things as far as, you know, the jab and everything and, and why they're.
pushing so heavy. She, how she said upon this is what her words of uh, black and the brown community uh, 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 so much, and she gave the statistics of the, the the measles, the rubella, and all of those different jabs, and and how it was affecting you know so called black and brown people uh, uh, way times more. And they said that this current experimental jab, they said this is considered racial justice and it's an advantage for so-called black and brown people mm. and this is from the cdc and it said uh this is from uh yeah the cdc and healthsecurity.org that's what it says what does it mean is an advantage what, like they, they saying this is like this is for one they said this is racial justice mm -hmm. right so out of all this that they did to us <laughs> by them giving it to us first it's like help yeah, this it's is like, yo, don't, hey, hell look, we no. know all the people that's passed. Hell this no. is your reparations. We're going to give you this first. You deserve it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is racial no justice. Way. No way. That's no. what they say, that this is racial justice. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's an advantage. So they say that yeah. you have an advantage on yeah. other people. Out of all the things that we could have possibly had, you want to give us, and they, and they clearly said this is, an ex, this is experimental. And she said that once you take this, you're under you're under watch you're on the um on the list for watch for two years right to see what happens to you during right. that two-year period right right, right. Wow. It, it, that's why they wanted to do the tracing thing uh -huh. yeah because they need everybody linked up like that yeah you know and that's why they dropped uh uh on the news uh how to handle a freaking zombie attack man yeah I saw that. They, I saw that. You know, they really yeah. talking about it cdc yeah, yeah. now yeah. That, i got a real quick scripture for that hey, hey, real, real quick uh, mm -hmm. uh when you sent me that video and I saw the CDC put out uh, what you should do in the zombie attack, mm -hmm. you know, our first thing I thought of was the movie. What movie do you think that was? I Am Legend. Uh -huh. What happened in I Am Legend? Those people received uh, the jabby jab and those people that received the jabby jab end up becoming what? Those zombies. Yeah, yeah. See? Yeah. So if a zombie apocalypse so-called happen right yeah, yeah. it's because of those who have the jabby jab yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> and guess what they're jabbing up um chimpanzees in the san diego zoo uh, animal version jab wow this is uh isaiah 9 and 20. i always i always think about the scripture it says and he shall snatch on the right hand and be hungry and he shall eat on the left hand and they shall not be satisfied they shall eat every man the flesh of his own arm you know what spirit you got to be in? Just eat the flesh of your own arm, man. Mm. You got to be in a completely different, demonic. bugged out, leveled yeah. up zombie spirit, man. Demonic. Yeah, yeah demonic as fuck, man. Yeah. To just yeah. not give a fuck and just bite you. You got to be in some zombie possessed. state of mind. Possessed. Exactly. Yeah. Possessed, man. Yeah. So, it, and remember the scripture says it's going to be a time of trouble that the earth has never seen before. So, it ain't going to be just your regular cannibals out here. They're going to be turned up all the way up, man. Mm. Yeah, and, and you can't over, overlook the minor details that they put in in um in, in uh, uh Israelite neighborhoods and stuff like that. Remember like K two and like bath salts yeah. and all that stuff. Mm. And you know, you know, people are so stupid, man, because they think, all right, I got the thingy thing. All right, it's been three minutes. Okay, exactly. it's been it's been three weeks. I'm okay. Everything's okay. Let me get the My man, thing. if they're fo if the CDC wants to follow you for two years, man, yeah, right. you know what I mean? You're 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 not looking down around the corner, bro. You're yeah. looking right in front of you. This damn fast food uh, mentality that everybody has, man. Right. We're talking two to five years from now. Lord willing, we ain't here that long, but the, the, true, this right, this dude. this thing that you just took. All right, this ain't gonna affect you a week from now, man. We're talking like next year, the year after that, man. Yeah. Long yeah. term. Well, well, well. The words of uh, Elon Musk, he said in a, in an interview, he said um, with the uh, the mRNA, whatever how you say that shit, mm -hmm. yeah, with with that being plugged up in you, he said um, with the right device, they can turn you into a butterfly, mm -hmm. and that was a, his neat way of telling you. With the right device, they can control you. Yeah, mm -hmm. they can turn you. Remember, yeah, well, if control. you've seen coming to America, the the corny ass second one. I ain't gonna spill it, but you know, <laughs> even though it's whack as hell, I should just <laughs> throw up on it. <laughs> throw up on that stupid <laughs> shit. But anyway, anyway. I gotta go back. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but, but brother, wait, you seen the first one? You seen the first one when when, when um, Eddie Murphy made the chick. Bark like a dog, you know it's a classic. Yeah. 
Yeah. You know, what Esau can make you literally bark like a dog. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, he can turn you into a squirrel outside. You know, he can make, you know, possess. it's possession. Yeah. That's yeah. a demonic possession, but he inserted the demon, <laughs> you know, through a, a, a science genetic way, you know, dealing with genes and, and yeah, you know, all that program shit. nanobots. Yeah, right. nano, yeah. And there could be, and there could be an act, and there could be some sort of activation for it. Okay, now if you ever watched um the very first uh um uh Batman uh with um uh the crazy guy uh, American Psycho Kev, um uh Christian Bale, yeah. mm -hmm. right? Um the, the, the one of the bad guys, the Scarecrow, all right, he was poisoning the water for for months. Gotham City was drinking the water for months. Nothing was happening to him. Everything was fine. Mm. But then he did some trigger, um, some some trigger thing where the uh, 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 the water boiled and the steam went into the air and they inhaled it and all of a sudden everybody turned into into cra crazy psychopaths, man. Mm. You know. So the mm. point is, that's just an example. It's a movie, but we look at these things because you know these 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 are all things that are done in steps. All right. right? He's, he, he isn't just gonna set everything on your lap. He's just gonna gently do Probably. gradualism Probably. all right get you to that point man you know hey the lord said not to be ignorant of same devices yeah we're not ignorant of same devices the lord gave us the uh knowledge wisdom and understanding to understand these times so how do you keep yourself safe by hiding yourself in the scriptures yeah. you know following what the lord said to do not what you said to do but what the lord said to do that's right yeah. oh. hey so oh, real quick you saw that um um i, I remember with um Connections. Everything's connected, man. You gotta connect the dots, man. The chemtrails. Spraying the chemtrails and the and the barium oxide and the aluminum in the air. And like um there was a uh, 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 things with um the aluminum, you know, the particles that built up in your body over time that could like oh you know, uh, 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 you could control you, you know, mm. through satellites and um 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 there was a video you put out on it. Um where they had the same uh this was years ago, where they had the same technology but ultimately that same kind of um uh, uh, chemicals and stuff uh, uh, that they spray in the air that that we've been breathing for for decades, right? You know, uh, could get built up to a point where uh, there's a point where we could get controlled in some kind of way, man. Yeah. You know, yeah. Precept for you, Psalm sixty four and six. They search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search. Let's start up one more verse. Kanye, mm -hmm. up Psalm. Really, you start at the top. You can, but yep. Yeah. So, yeah, time sake, uh, Psalm sixty four and five. They encourage themselves in an evil manner. Mm. They encourage themselves in an evil manner. Mm. You know, they can continually gas each other up, hype each other up. You know what I mean? Like I've seen, I've seen the corporate America set, uh, uh, settings. Like these people don't just have a business and just sit on their ass. And then there's always some kind of um, a progression that has to be made. You know, mm. there's no nothing stagnant when it comes to mm. Esau. It always has to be. Mm. That's how we know this whole thing isn't gonna stop. Yep. It's not gonna stop at the freedom bracelet. Right. Okay. It's, it's not going to stop at the at the mm, passport or whatever on paper. It's all going to go into a new direction, mm -hmm. you know? Because what? They encourage themselves in an evil manner. They, they always are uh, trying to outdo themselves. Exactly. So it, it's a never ending with, when it comes to Esau. Yep. And even Moab, there's an article that I, I did a lesson on it, but I ain't loaded up yet. But, um, you know, I talked about it in camp. The sh uh, it's called the uh, Sharp Something, which is basically this technology that China has was, I guess, is a satellite that can snapshot a picture within 90 seconds of a city and it can capture everybody in it. And I, and I know it's more than that. I just don't know the details of everything, but it's a bad, it's some new badass technology that they got going on. And in that article, they made mention of, they uh, set goals five to seven years in which they want to achieve. So once they achieve that, they still have to set another goal to achieve whatever it is. So it's never ending. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never ending. He's, yeah. Once the chip, Esau, uh, he's still not going to stop. Even if yeah. he was allowed to chip and, and to live this 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 kingdom of his, this wicked society, hypothetically speaking, he still would, would want to do something else. Mm. You know? Yeah, and um, I just saw this the other day too. U U US, US and China tech war. You know, mm. like, 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 like now you have like the tariff wars and trade wars and things like that. But now there's a tech war going on. So everything is constantly going to progress. It's not, it, it's, it's not going to be stagnant. Every, every year you're going to have a newer, faster, better looking car. Yep. You have a new phone. You have a new phone. You have a new phone. You have a new gaming system. You have a new TV. Yep. You're going to have new cameras. Yep. You're going to have new light bulbs. 
And yo, this, these gaming systems, man. Like, yo, Esau says the devil, he, he knows how to give you small increments. He won't just give you something good. It'll be a little step-by-step -step bullshit, man. Hey, don't be surprised your couch start talking to you. Yeah, hey, smart couch. you're going to sit at me smart today? Couch. You're going to watch the football game? Kick up. Got a beer for you. Boom. Beer pop up out of the couch somewhere. You can. Refrigerated in the couch. They had, they had smart house on Disney, Disney Channel. Oh, yeah. That movie. They, they vacuumed the whole floor for them, man. Wow. Yeah. If they yeah. just evaporated yeah. all the dirt on the floor and shit, man. Then the shit took over, remember? Yeah, yeah. Fucking yeah. shit turned evil and shit. Locked them in the house. Yeah, shit got jealous. I don't even, even like Detroit. Detroit. I don't even yeah, like yeah, Detroit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yep, Detroit become human. You have an android walking in around in your house, going to the store for you. So that's a game? Yeah, Detroit. Yeah, yeah. Detroit become human. It's a futuristic human. game, yeah. Futuristic yeah. game where they have yeah. androids where, you know, they're, they're, they're self-thinking AI computers. Yeah. They'll cook your dinner for you. They'll go to the store, buy stuff for you. Because, hey, hey, that's another direction. It's, you don't want us to go outside. It's, it's so yeah. futuristic that it's human life. Like, more well, like, like it's not regular like video it. game. You have to decide where you want to, where you what you what you want to do. You either make this choice to do this or make this choice to do that. It ain't like you running around shooting yeah. like Grand Theft. Nothing, nothing. It's a futuristic, human, realistic type game. Yeah, you pick if you yeah. want if you want them to fuck you with shit. Yeah, yeah. You want human beings to love you, or if yeah. you want to say fuck them, nigga. Or you want them to be rebellious and go to war with the humans. You know, because you That's might feel crazy. sympathy. They kind of try to play on your emotions to want sympathy. For these uh, artificial intelligent tissue um, robots, yeah. and make it feel because they because they because the robots are supposed to, you know, ha uh, uh, have a soul too. Yeah. You know when they're not yeah. supposed to have a soul. Yeah. You know they, it's they, crazy. Yeah, they had a, they had a robot that was a police uh, interrogator. Connor. I mean, um, Connor. They had a um, he was a, a um, who's the guy in that movie uh, with Samuel Jackson? The guy that go if you have a hostage taker and the guy. You send the guy to go in there and talk him down. The negotiator. Oh, you had, yeah, they had yeah. a they had a they had a robot oh, that, yeah, yeah, that yeah, played yeah, a yeah. negotiator between the host, uh, in a hostage uh, right. situation. You know. Yeah. So oh, like, we, we were just discussing that, man. Like you go into a, any any restaurant in the future, you're gonna have to be chipped. You might have a robot scanning you. Mm. That might be a robot there scanning you, man. Serving oh, you, cooking your that, food, and all that. They got they kind of got that yeah. now with a robot. Um, well, I know yeah, me stop and shop. They got the fucking uh, robot oh, yeah, that like yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. scan the um the aisles and shit. If it's like a spill or some shit, I kick that shit down. Yeah, see they had that in the <laughs> And then they put a mask. Run off, run out of there, bitch. <laughs> kick that motherfucker over. I bet you can't get up. Get run out of there. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Con, it says uh, back in uh, Psalm sixty four like and five. They Punch encourage them. themselves in an oh, evil habit. Right. They commune of laying snares privately. They say, "Who shall see them?" Mm. And you know, one thing is. Uh, this is why we're going to need Yahweh Mashiach. If you don't have Yahweh Mashiach, we're done, man. Because another thing that Esau does, he puts soy in shit you can't even imagine, man. Mm. And when you look up and research soy, man, one thing I seen was a man shouldn't even consume soy. You know, mm. no soy or soybean oil or none of that shit. You look up random stuff, it says it contains soy. Why is he doing that? He wants to feminize us and make us bitch me as most as he can. So this way, when he pushes the chick, he think we gonna bitch up. It's a lot of estrogen. Man. Exactly. Yeah. They should bitch up. I've been giving them soy for <laughs> for hundreds of years. I've been giving their grandpappy soy. Hey, more about right. all that. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, every produce, uh, all that is account. All that wraps into one present because it decalcifies your pineal gland. Mm -hmm. You have no spirituality. Mm -hmm. You strip from being a man because now you gotta be PC. Yeah. You have your children are going to school. They're being trained by Edomite's ideology. You know, so that's not of their culture. That's not of their spirit. You know, sometimes a child being born and he going through the system, he ain't going to fit in. He got trouble in the system. So Esau is classifying your child to be a trouble, yeah. you know, when he's normal. Yeah. It's the system. You know, the system is the problem. You know, Esau's way. We're not Edomites, man. We're Israelites. Mm -hmm. Israelites and Edomites learn differently. Just like heathens, they learn differently. We all learn differently, man. We don't have to learn what Esau learned, you know, but you have to learn what he need, what he teaches you because if you want to be successful in his society, right. you know. Two, separate, two different men as a people. Mm -hmm. That's right. Separate from my vows. So they search out iniquities, they accomplish a diligent search, both the inward thought of every one of them, and the heart is deep, but the most high shall shoot at them with an arrow, certainly shall they be wounded. Mm. Oh, I got a precept to go with that one. 
This is uh, Psalms chapter 68, verse 21. But God shall wound the head of his enemies and the hairy scalp of such as such a one as goeth on still and is trespassing. Because mm -hmm. here it is, man. This devil, as the scriptures say, is um, Exodus 21 and 16, that if he's still a man, if that man be found in his hand, then, you know, the uh, the captor shall surely be put to death. Ooh. And Esau's trying to make you a perpetual slave. So when the Lord comes back, Ooh. you you caught red handed. Yep. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. So that's why you took you put you dipped your hand in the cookie jar, and and you caught red handed. Right. You know there is no going I'm back. Mouth, it, right now, <laughs> you know it's 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 a, the Lord is tightening things up to a narrow path. It's either Yahweh Bashem Yahushua's narrow way, or it's Esau's narrow way. When you read Second Ezra the seventh chapter, it gets into that narrow, the straight gate. You know, you're going down the path and you want to reach this, 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 uh, this, uh, paradise. You know, you know, the paradise is on the other side, but you have to get through the troubles. Well, Esau is either, is either Esau's, uh, paradise or it's either Yahweh Bashem Yahushua's paradise, you know? So you're going to have to make a choice. It's either you Yahweh Bashem Yahushua or you Esau. That's what it's boiling down to. You got something? No. But, uh, yeah, so with that, you know, uh, hope the second was edifying. You know, the brothers out there, show on to all the brothers on the comment board. Let us give all praises, honor, and glory to so Yahweh. Ba'ashim, Yahushai, Ba'ashim, Rakapadash. Number one, to the Apostle and Elizabeth Millstone, and Shalom to that out there. Doing the work of faith and live love and true sincerity. Shalom. 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 Shalom, brothers.